Hello everyone! Today we want to share with you something important. Something that troubles many dog owners. Something crew should care about if you want a beautiful dog. Welcome to our most complete guide against tear stains. Tear stains trouble mostly breeds with white or light hair. The reason is simple, stains are less visible on dark hair. It is also more likely to affect small breeds. Especially breeds like Maltese, Shih Tzu, Yorkies, Lhasa Apso, Bichons or Poodles and Havanese. Their noses are slightly shorter, affecting their tear canals, and their soft, light hair is ideal for staining too. Long did we not have to deal with tear stains, until we did. It is important that you firstly try to prevent them. Firstly, keep the eye area clean at all times. Do not allow any dust and dirt to accumulate. It tends to stick to the hair and mixes with the tears, making it hard and sometimes painful to clean if left for too long. Secondly, make sure hair around the eyes is not too long. Long hair that sticks into the eyes can irritate them, causing the eyes to tear more. And finally, check if the hair between the eyes is wet. Should it be the case, dry it carefully. But what if your puppy already does have tear stains? Despite all of our precautions, you may develop them too. Once the hair gets stained, it's impossible to clean. Yumi has always had a predisposition to it, because his eyes are watering constantly, which makes it all the way harder to get rid of the stains. The first step was to cut the most stained hair, and then cleaning and drying the eye area all the time. We had a small flea comb with us constantly, and removed any dust from the hair every time we could. After a couple days, we again cut the most stained hair. It has to be done in small steps, in order to keep the haircut right. It did help a little, but not fully. Time to find out the cause instead of treating the outcome. We were almost sure that Yumi does not have any infection, and so we started experimenting with his food. Firstly, we changed the brand of his kibble from chicken to lamb kibble. After two weeks, we saw a slight change. And then we changed his next two, from dried chicken to dried lamb. After another two weeks, we began seeing the results. We are not done yet, but it's getting much better. Food and or water is frequently the main cause of stains, and it takes a lot of experimenting. It's important to only change the food by parts, so that you can identify the origin. We are always learning new things about our puppies. Each dog is different and may react differently to every ingredient. Santi cannot eat much beef as it causes him stains. So a year ago, we switched to chicken and turkey as main food and tried pork or chicken as treats. But now, we know Yumi cannot eat chicken, and possibly even turkey. And because we are in a foreign country now, our choices are limited. So we found out lamb to be the best compromise. Now it's just about being patient a bit more, and keep cleaning the hair and cutting the worst parts, until it's all snow white. Hopefully these tips can help you too in fighting the evil tear stains. It is however also good to consult your veterinarian as the stains may also be a cause of fungi or bacteria. Should you have any questions about the process, leave us a comment and we will be happy to reply and try to help. Thanks for watching and see you on Friday!